For my science fair project, I built an aquaponics farming system in my kitchen. This is me building the system. Aquaponics is an efficient type of farming that maximizes the useful byproducts of farming fish and plants together to make everything grow better. The system needs to involve both fish and plants because fish waste, which is toxic to the fish, provides nutrients for the plants, which then filter the water for the fish. My aquaponics system is a closet-sized system with two small grow beds, one 10-gallon tank, and the base is a microwave cart with an extended top. One grow bed is an aquaponic media-based grow bo- bed, and the other side is a dirt-based grow bed. I just use PVC pipe to run the water back and forth be- between the fish tank and the aquaponic grow bed. Dirt is my control group and water is my experimental group. The system uses electric lights to provide the plants with warmth and light. I wanted to find out what are the best plants to put in a home aquaponics system. Now we're trying to put fish into the fish tank, but fish don't like huge pH changes. So, here's, you know what, I'll just show you. It's at, the fish's water is at 7.0, but we've got it at 7.4. This is our water. So we need to drop about it at around, by around point 0.2, really, not 2. Because if we dropped it by about 2, we would have less than this. Using pH down. I'll, I'll show you that. It's an API just like the testing kit is. Well, the fish have definitely adjusted to the water temperature, so we shouldn't have a problem with that as soon as we um, get the pH right. Now this is the exciting moment. I started the project with three fish. I am a vegetarian, so I used goldfish, which are not edible. The light we planned on using made the kitchen too bright, so my dad helped me make this version. Here I am, riveting the new light together. And this is the finished system. I planted the same kind of plants on both sides, and those are spinach, basil, and arugula. My hypothesis was that I thought that basil would grow tallest in the aquaponic system. Initial results were that the water plants seemed to be bigger and start faster. I planted the seeds on February 9th. Most of the sprouts came up over the course of the next week on both sides. This was my favorite part of the experiment because it was really fun to see the fruits or vegetables of my labor begin to come up. The dirt side grew few plants, but it did grow the tallest plant, which was arugula. Drum roll, please. Nitrites, I mean. These are toxic to fish, but they're more helpful to f- plants than ammonia. So, seeing night, and also they can be um, converted into nitrates, which are harmless to fish and very helpful to plants. So, seeing nitrites is really getting us excited. You see, the fish produce ammonia with and the bacteria that are also in the system, in the pipes and the on the pump is bacteria. And the bacteria is helping us. It's um nitrosomonas, I'm pretty sure is the one that converts nitrite 
ammonia in the nitrite. Hey, it turns out we m might have found some nitrates. Do you think so? Hmm. I think we did. 5.0 ppm it looks like too. That's a lot compared to the nitrate level we've got going on. Hopefully more of those, the nitrate, com the ammonia converting bacteria grow into grow so that the nitrate, that there are more nitrates for the nitrate converting, I mean nitrate converting bacteria. This is a tongue thing. To convert into nitrates. Whew! That was hard to see. <laughs> So now my science for a project is done and I have learned a lot from the experiment. First I have learned that it is hard, very hard to create and run an aquaponic system. Aside from learning a lot about different kinds of bacteria and the nutrients that they need like ammonia and nitrates, I probably should have learned a lot more about gardening before I started because I didn't know how much to water the dirt side. And I nearly pulled out the spinach bowl because I thought it was a weed. My final results were that the water side did much better than the dirt side. Over twice as many water side seeds sprouted and the plants mostly did better. The aquaponics system is a lot trickier than I thought it would be to set up. And get the fish si getting the fish situated was very hard. Once it was working though, it was a bit easier since you didn't have to remember to water the plants or know if you were giving them too much or too little water. My family is going to keep my experiment going, except I'm going to replace the dirt side with a larger aquaponics bed and use it for our own small farming operation. We can't wait to eat our results.